Yo. What is up, chat? Hello. Hello. How goes it? Welcome back. What up? Go Sen! Actually, really sick fucking event. This just appeared in my recommendations at the perfect time. Well, I just went live. I think YouTube knows, man. Deep down, they know. Jesse, thank you very much for the membership. I appreciate it. What up, what up, man? Spencer, thank you very much. How are we doing today? t -Rez, Nick, thank you. Is this about the fursuit post? Don't say that to me. Don't casually say that sentence to me, okay? Because people who don't know the context might get the wrong idea. You know? It's not a good move. Like, imagine this is somebody's first stream. They come in, and the first thing they see is, Oh, Ludwig, is this the, is it about that fursuit thing that you're talking? Hey, Lud oh, Ludwig, is this about your fursuit that you've been working on? They might get the wrong idea. You know, you could see. Thank you, Joner. The Craven Crow. Appreciate all the memberships. How are we doing today, man? Hope you're all having a good-ass Sunday. Dean's Mug. Super CMC. Trico. CJ. Craven Crow. Anchor the Cat. Zayron. Logan Lane. Daniel. Tristan. Avery, appreciate all the memberships. Any chance of a Balcho stream? When are you and Tyler Possibly. One gonna meet on the chess battlefield? Dude, Tyler One would destroy. Bro, he's 1700. I'm 1300. I've beat a 1400. He's beat an 1800. He kind of gaps me, I'm not gonna lie. I never made a March Madness bracket. You bad as fuck. Okay, it's a t that's a five minute. We call this horny jail. You gotta go to horny jail. Can't be dropping. Hey, Unc. Mount I sweating took your emojis. And bet Nebraska to win the NCAA tournament. Bet half of my retirement savings on it. They were eliminated today in their first game. Now my kids <laughs> can't eat this week. Thanks a lot, Cup Week. I did say Nebraska, didn't I? They did get fucked. Yeah. Bad pick. Damn. Shit. You know what? I'm not even going to lie. After I said it, I was like, I wouldn't do that. Damn. Unlucky, though. Unlucky. Hey, good news. You still have half your retirement savings. So if you gamble that, you'll be back to even. Thank you very much for the memberships, everybody. Bella. Exorman. Wit. Jonathan. Ali. Javin. Rajesh, Nathan, appreciate it. 10 gifted from the dude. Uh, chat, all right, first things Ludwig first. We're going to talk about... Nose and Smosh just released a song about Patreon supporters of the yard. Have you considered doing content with Smosh on their channel? What? Smosh released a song about patrons on the yard? Is that an accurate representation? I miss the old Ludwig. Straight from the go Ludwig chop up the soul Ludwig. Set on his goals Ludwig he hate the new Ludwig. The bad mood Ludwig the always rude Ludwig. Spaz in the news Ludwig he miss the sweet Ludwig. Are you going to play Dragon's Dogma too? You don't get both. This is what you fuckers don't get. You don't get, you don't get to fucking sing a goddamn song that I have to sit through. And then ask me a question like it's a casual Q&A. You get to pick one. I'm not answering your question. Sorry. You got the song. Because I don't get to skip the damn cutscene that you're putting on me. I have to live in it. I have to live in your cutscene that you force upon me. Hold up. Let me fix my thumbnail. Bing bang. Is this a song? Submissive and breedable. Control. She beat my meat whack a mole. I arch my back, curl my toes. Submissive and breedable. Call me Big Daddy Bezos, cause I'm all about the business. What's your Amazon wish list? What is it? Spending all my money on a quick pitch. I'm broke, I gotta make a quick lick. 
dive into the crib like Guy Fieri. She's sponging on my bob until, until I'm ready. ready. She picks up my ass and kicks open the door. Are you ready for sex? Sure. I love. They talk about the yard in here? You're telling me the yard's about to come up? They're saying they made a song about the yard because it's called Submissive and Breedable. So you're just saying that we're submissive and breedable? Oh. Sorry I trust, right? Does it feel good shattering trust and love of an innocent boy? Just an innocent man? Just a shy little man, strong, powerful in ways. Bean saying the $10. YouTube's good at recommending streams. It sucks at sending notifications for them. Well, make sure you have them on. You might not have them on. Do the Luddy, please. No. Rajesh, hey, Ludwig. I'm wondering if you had a chance to see my email called new stream idea. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you for sending an email. It's very That's very thoughtful. I'm laughing because I haven't checked my fucking email in forever. <laughs> I do not check my email very often, so no, I have not checked it. Worm Winner, thank you, the five gifted. Evan Turing. As an AI, I'm analyzing your stream, Ludwig. Your content blend or engagement in I hope it goes well, Evan. I'm calling, thank you, 27 months. Bex, Ash, Robert, Drummer, and Bobby Hill. Appreciate it. All right, chat. First things first. Today, we have to talk about the subreddit post. Let's cut the music. Very serious thing that we need to talk about. But. Before we get into that, I have to give you guys an update, okay? Because it is March Madness. Whoa, March Madness! And in March Madness, I stream every day in the month of March. We are almost done. There's actually one week left. But the next two days, I am going out of town. I'm going out of town the next two days. Uh, I might actually be back Tuesday in time to stream, but tomorrow I will need to do a vertical stream yet again. Uh, cause I'm doing a, a, basically a motorcycle like crash course, uh, in preparation for the Japan trip, which is also coming up. So anyway, we're doing another vertical stream. That'll be tomorrow. And then Tuesday, hopefully I'll stream here. Uh, and then we're back to it. Then we're back to it, baby. So I, I'll, I'll still, I won't miss a day. But, you know, vertical days are just, they're different. They're different. I don't like doing them. I don't like streaming every fucking day either, but I've signed myself up for both. A motorcycle crash course? I guess that's not the best term to use. <laughs> it's not a course where you learn to crash. It's a course where you learn you not to five crash. five seconds into the stream made my day muig. Thank you. Thank you to 10 Augustana. Have you read Cersei yet? I'm on chapter 14. Um, I think similar. No, I might be farther. Hit real deal tripping. Uh, I got to the part where Odysseus is leaving. I'm there. Thank you to 10 Cyclar, Ethan, Edmund, Goopy. When is Elden Ring with Squeaks? Uh, maybe April. Spoilers. Guys, it's the Odyssey, right? It's the Odyssey. <laughs> like, come on. Have you never read the Odyssey? Odysseus comes back to his town, prince of Ithaca after all those years. The day he returns, there are people ransacking his cupboards. He masks himself as like a humble farmer or something. And then like murders all of them. This isn't even in the book anymore, by the way. This but isn't even in Cersei. Just read to the vine already. Your voice hurts my ears. Mods, you're off today. You're off today. We're not. We're letting things slide. Dan Giesling is the GOAT. Update on Survivor watching. Episode 2 of this season had a Taylor Swift song naming battle. Yeah, I saw that. That was, it was cool. And then arguably I got into the cringe territory. 
with how long it went. And there are some really fun older seasons, too. I'm watching this season. I do like it. I'm having a good time. Cyclar, thank you again for the 10 gifted. Oh, is that 20 gifted? The fuck? Thank you. Vomzy, thank you for the, the two months. Uh, all right. Okay. Every day, it's something else with you. Tim, you're getting paid. Don't get mad at me because y'all are getting paid. Okay? If I got the money from it, I wouldn't say a peep. I'd be over here like this. I have to buy the send bundle. I actually have to buy the send bundle. And I'll, I will never say this to his face, and I hope this never reaches him, but Zelsis might be the GOAT. Thank you very much, Wizbangs, Daniel Smith. Dorky dad, Mark Walsh. Okay, chat, enough, enough, enough. Focus, focus. If someone wanted to send an application for Mogul or Off-Brand, would they get looked at? No. Not by me, at least. I don't I do not do that. I don't do that. All right. Focus. If you guys don't know, I've had a subreddit for a long time now. Like, five plus years long time. And it's gone through periods of thriving community to, you know, basically all but dead. But in the past year... I'm going to show you the two biggest posts. The first one comes actually over a year ago. And it is when Suffer found my truck. My truck, my K truck that I imported from Japan that got stolen. My subreddit is actually the source that ended up tracking it down. And then it eventually was uh, got by the police, towed to my house. I now have my K truck again. Yay! 5,000 upvotes. The second highest post by metric of upvotes came out this week. And I haven't read it yet. It's called Lud Got Me Laid. <laughs> it has almost 3,000 upvotes. I don't know how this happened. Let's take a look together. This was a few months ago. I, 24 male, go on a first date with this girl, 22 female who left me her number at a bar. We go to an arcade bar where she kicks my ass in Mario Kart on an old N64 they have there. We played the Simpsons arcade game, which is low-key fire. We have a few drinks, and it's going well. Halfway through the date, I ask if she prefers watching TV series or YouTube videos, and she hesitates to answer, but eventually confesses that she prefers watching streamers, as if it were something to be ashamed about. It is. Let me cut you off there. It is. Okay. Like, if you are at a round table and someone's like, ah, I like films. I just recently watched Lighthouse. And then another guy's like, I like TV. I just finished Shogun. Uh, and I love, and I love uh, Breaking Bad. And then you pipe up and you're like, y'all ever seen Soda Poppin? <laughs> like, I get it. I watch a lot of streamers. I think streamers are really funny. I enjoy the content the streamers make. Ultimately, it is more embarrassing. Who gives a fuck, man? It's all the same slop. It's not. It's not. And it's okay to admit that. Like, look, I spent my whole day today watching a guy watch a Valorant tournament. I watched Tarek watch a Valorant tournament. That's not the exact same slop, you know. As a show based off a, you know, best-selling book about, like, uh, Showa-era Japan or whatever the fuck, you know? Not to say you should be, uh, like, you shouldn't, shouldn't do it. You sh I, don't, I guess sh you shouldn't be ashamed. You shouldn't be ashamed. You shouldn't feel shame. You know, be proud of what you do. But it is embarrassing. Anyway. We move on. But I want to connect on that, so I tell her I watch some streamers too, and I'm curious if there's some overlap. I wanted to name some women. <laughs> <laughs> That's cringe. <laughs> That's cringe. <laughs> you can't, you can't like dig deeper trying to think of people you don't maybe instantly think of that you watch. Because you want to be more relatable and, like, mention women. Because, like, let's let's move this to a different medium, right? 
Let's 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 say you guys are talking about books, and you like, I don't know, fucking Percy Dragon or, or, or Percy Jackson, excuse me. Let's say you like Percy Jackson, and then someone says, "What's your favorite book?" And then you're like, "Ah, <sighs> tough." Hillary Clinton's autobiography was big for me. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Michelle Obama, Michelle Obama, I read a lot of her work, uh, cause I just think she's, I think what she stands for is powerful enough. <laughs> That'd be cringe. Anyway, I wanted to name some women cause I figured that'd make me more relatable. So I tell her I like extra Emily, Maya, cutie Cinderella. <laughs> Dude, imagine, imagine you're the girl and the guy just lists like 15 women streamers. He just goes off, and then you're the girl, and you're like, you're only watching women? <laughs> like, no, no I, I hear you. That's good. There's a lot of great women streamers, but, like, only? Start to get a bit suspicious. <laughs> no, it's chill. It's chill. It's chill. I, I like a I, mod, too, on the side. You Amaranth, you know, all, all the. <laughs> all right. I tell her, like, extra Emily, Maya, cutie, Cinderella, and, of course, that means I watch Ludwig, too. Her eyes went wide. For the rest of the night, we talked about Ludwig, our favorite videos, MXS, swipe bidets, and really just about anything Ludwig related. <laughs> this is crazy. This is insane. Okay. We ended up going back to her place, watching a Ludwig stream, and having a great night. We saw each other a few times after that, but I ended up moving to a new country. <laughs> That's okay. That's casual. Uh, so anyway, thanks, Lud. I owe you one. God damn. <laughs> What's a stream? What stream is... I can't... Like, I'm trying to think of streams that I did that are good for dates, you know? Like, what is it? Me playing Suica yelling at my fucking screen? <laughs> I'm scrolling through 500 YouTube shorts. Is that the one? No, oh, short number 300 goes crazy. A jet lag reaction? Wait, that one's actually kind of fire, though. Anyway, apparently I got this dude laid. And by proxy, apparently I got this girl laid. Because they both bonded over me. In my video. If you guys got married, I would have gone to your wedding. Let the record show. Did you do it while Ludwig was on? I don't think I want to know this. Like, please, have a little bit of decorum. Is there nothing holy anymore? Did you do it while Ludwig was on? I'm proud of a lot. I'm proud of a lot of things that night. This is, this is not one of them. Just switch the channel or something. Please, man. If I'm sitting here, I don't want to, you know, think about that. Imagine for a moment, I'm not behind a computer screen, but I am in an auditorium on stage. And then front row, I got two people freaking their shit like they do. You think it's easy to do my job now? I don't come to your place of work and jerk my sh little shit. You know, think about it. <clears throat> did you get big we gotta fix our way of speaking to each other did you get big for her did you did you get your penis really hard and erect yeah yeah Gato Diablo he did it was sex did you get a big old erection in your big penis and it blood rushed to it yeah like what are we doing what are we doing here yes man no lie we made this joke that night oh my god is it cringe? <laughs> I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear this. How is this even going down? Did you get big for me? Yes, I get big for you. Did you get big for me now? Yes, I get big for you now. What would you like to do? The plan is simple. <laughs> Two people watching oh, this man. stream right now.
Stop. Stop. <gasps> That's so crass. That's so crass. Stop. They were like wild beasts, Dubin. <laughs> what the fuck? I wanted to name some women because I figured that'd be more relatable. <laughs> Yeah, that is that is that is the funniest part of the story, actually, because you are just kind of faking the funk, right? To to seal the deal here. I also like long watches on the beach in the smell of spring. Me, hmm. I guess I like championing women's rights. What do I do? I take care of lost, sick puppies. How long into coitus were you before you thought about posting this LOL? Why have sexual relations if not for a post-coital Reddit recap? I assume... Th okay, yeah, that is a crazy four-word post here. I assume it's been a while. Because you moved, right? This could not have been, like, last week. Is Ludwig kink-shaming? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Just because it's a kink doesn't mean you get to hide behind it. I can still make fun of you. Yes. I don't know where we went wrong in, in history where we thought that you could just hide your embarrassments and kinks. <laughs> Fellas, cringe is cringe is cringe is cringe. Face your cringe head on like a soldier, like a warrior. Don't bury it into the kink department so it can't be commented on. You know what this reminds me of is the fucking DoorDash conversation on, on uh, or the, the food delivery conversation that's currently going on Twitter. Have you guys seen this? That shit's crazy. <laughs> the skinny of it is basically people were saying, hey, frozen food's pretty fucking good. Buying DoorDash or Uber Eats or just food delivery in general is kind of a waste of money. Specifically, I think it came up because like, cause like breakfast. Like if you're if you're getting a food delivery for like a fucking bagel and a coffee, bro, like just get groceries. You know, just get a frozen meal if you really can't cook. And then there was a counter wave that was like, you're not even thinking of disabled people. And, and then there was a, a genuine conversation about that. About how actually we need food delivery for bagel. And frozen food is... It's Twitter, man. It's Twitter. Ultimately, Twitter is where discourse happens for no sake at all. She commented on the post. No, she didn't, did she? My wife and I are about to freak our shit. And you talking about DoorDash is killing the mood. 9-11. 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be really fucked up if you guys had sex now it'd be really fucked up i'm not gonna lie can't wait for lud to read this one tonight well here we are Damn, so glad this went well for you. Congrats, bro. The guy who matched with me on Tinder liking my Mogul Moose hoodie eventually ghosted me and never took me out on that date. Keep up the work, gamer. It's cowardice. They got scared, Susie. They feared you. Ha 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 ha. I'm the girl. OP was very nice and let me know about the post. Wait, what the hell? I can't... <laughs> Guys, fucking relax. I can't confirm this is the girl that rocked my world. I guarantee, I guarantee Carol Yin and even Admiral Judgment have both had at least five DMs that have been like, so you watch Ludwig. <laughs> because there are some desperate horny motherfuckers in this subreddit who are like, wait, you're telling me the only thing I need to do to get laid is watch this motherfucker? <laughs> You're saying if I know about the Ludlock, I get pipe? 
Mm. I let a guy hit because he was wearing yard merch. That The bar is too low there. I'm sorry. That's bad. That's bad. We throw a yard hoodie on Dick Cheney. You're riding him. Be real. <laughs> Thank you for the 10. Worm winner. Hey, Lud, my name is Worm winner. I know. It's right there. And I want to know if you had advice on doing YouTube and streaming. I want the YouTube to be similar to mm, Mart in to, 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 and the streams are variety. Thanks, dog. Worm winner. I do not have advice for you at this current time. I'm thinking about people who had sex watching my stream, and that's something that I've tried to grapple with. But I've made many videos about how to be a streamer, and I would watch those. They're much more valuable than any insight I'd give you in five seconds here. Luddy, let's it, let it, let's it's crust. Dude, what the fuck? Luddy, let's it crust. Luddy, let's it crust. What does that mean? Let's it crust. I don't like it. I let it crust? What does that mean? I don't like it. The shit in your ass? I have a bidet, you freak. You bu you buffoon? You outright fool? Uh, me! The bidet guy! Wake up, dingus! You're fucking slow today. Wub wub genius. Lud has now confirmed he is a kink and we should shame him. Well, definitely, if you're in this stream, you've probably shamed me before. I would just like to say rip to your inbox. Yep. Buddy, I just don't want to... Excuse me. Buddy, I don't want to jump the gun. But this woman left you her phone number unprompted. Then found out you had a bunch in common on a first date. I think you could have been a miskiff viewer. <laughs> okay. Don't don't say I think you could have mis... <laughs> don't, don't phrase it like that. Like that's the plague. There, hey, there, I know as a fact, there's several Mizkid viewers in here. Several Lud Buds that watch Mizkid stream. They're just quieter about it now. My girl let me hit because I'm a one-year member. <laughs> Nutwig, thank you for the five-line, mister. Shy, thank you very much. Do the Luddy on that ass. How the fuck? I'm going to give that one a down vote. Did she moisten your mogul? Okay, guys, what are we upvoting? What are we upvoting here, folks? Could have had yourself an actual Lud bud. A good old Lud bust. <laughs> Sorry, I just, in my head, it, it read like Atrock and Stan's having a conversation. <laughs> Lol, read this and thought I'd share. Lud also got me laid. It was in a different country while on vacation. We met at a party, talked for a bit about something, but uh, but something in me had to ask if they watched YouTube and then went down this rabbit hole and found out we're both Ludwig watchers, went out on a date and everything. It was crazy. Shout out, Ludwig. Yo, shout out. Guys, if you meet from this stream and you can prove it verifiably and you get married in a place that is convenient to me at a date that I am free, I will RSVP yes and then maybe flake. This is all This is all true. A lot of has a certain thing on his mind today. Me! I do! I'm impressed. I impressed my boyfriend on our first date when I mentioned Levy in chess boxing. He still talks about it. <laughs> That's just because guys are easily impressed. They see a woman who knows about chess and they're like, you've heard of the beautiful game? <laughs> I, I didn't think it hit your people yet. They're simple creatures. Anyway, upvote. Upvote to our biggest post of the year. I don't know why this is our second biggest post of the fucking... He has that sadness in his eyes that you only see in Eastern European gay porn. 
This is still such a... <laughs> I just... I need to look up Eastern European gay porn, I guess. Apparently, I'd be a fool not to. All right, while we're here, let's take a look at some of the hot posts. Ludwig cheated with the stocks. The original stock stream was March 13th, 2023. The result stream was supposed to be with one uh, within one year uh, of this the the same day, one year after yeah, so March thirteenth, twenty twenty four. Chat was leading on March twelfth. Wait, 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 wait. Were you guys leading on March thirteenth though? Hold up, zoom, enhance. Analyzing, analyzing. It appears that on March 13th, I was leading you guys by a hundred and seventeen dollars. On March 12th, you guys were beating me by six dollars. Leap year. Chat, look, read the sentence. The result stream was supposed to be on the same day this year. Which would be March 13th. The same day. It didn't say 365 days. Also, it just says the same day. You said in a year? No, okay, wait, 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 wait. Did I? Or are you just saying that to make your point correct? I have an inkling that I didn't say that, but you want to be right on this? Uh, Chad was leading March 12th, so he delayed the stream so he would win. Classic Ludwig, please don't take this post seriously, colon D. LMAO, I know you're just memeing, but he did say he didn't actually buy all the stocks to the day of the OG stream. It took him a week or two. Yeah, I had to open up a brokerage account and then put the money into the brokerage account and then uh, have the trades go through, which took about 10 days. Hence why it's the 22nd or 3rd um, that it actually started. Um, yeah. This fits my narrative, so I agree. <laughs> Rematch? Guys, you lost. Okay? Losers. Okay? It's not something to be embarrassed about. You lost to a to a real one. To a real ass day trader. S P five hundred clears you, little bro. Okay. Don't hide behind the big guy just because you got rinsed. My girlfriend was a janitor for a high school when I was working at McDonald's. Now we both work in the military. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, think of the $10. That's sick. Is knowing that you watched Ludwig the next Riz and I got fired from forklifts? What the fuck? Is knowing that you watched Ludwig the next Riz and I got fired from forklifts? Okay. Punctuation's missing. You need a question mark here. Do, 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 do. It makes the sentence harder to understand. Think Lud will ever actually do this from the punishment wheel stream. Think Lud will. For. First. Is that right?
Can we get something nice? Do you think it's kind of childish that you can't grow a beard? <laughs> no, I don't think it's childish at all. I think it's cool in a way. Uh, okay. Well, I, uh, so the thing about the fursuit stream is, first off, I want to say I didn't forget. Just want to clarify. I remembered and I lament anyone who would insinuate that I am not a man of my word who follows up on his due bets. I resent that. I would, if I were king, find them and hang them for treason. Having said that, this was a tricky situation here because actually, if you guys don't know, most fursuits you can commonly get are oftentimes stolen art that are cheaply made and manufactured in uh, factories for very cheap abroad and then sold online. Uh, it, it ends up being very harmful to actually people in the fur community, the fur community. So, you know, I uh, actually am working on a very unique, one of a kind fursuit, and it's taking a while. And they said it would, uh, it's going to take them 700 days. So that's what they said. So I'll do it then. Two years? No, actually, that's less than uh, two years, which is which is good. It's only a year, and you know, some change. So maybe we need another here to step up and DM Ludwig every day for three hundred sixty-five days to get him to do this. I wonder what his persona is. Uh, it's a Lud, dog. I got this one for you. All right, come on. First Ona quiz, star quiz. Wait, it's your dream. You are in a jungle, and uh, if I'm in a jungle, I'm probably running freely. No, probably looking for friends. It's the same dream. You want to find a mate. What do you do? I would look for the most sexually arousing animal. I mate with the strongest member of my species. I would look for my animal soulmate. I would, I'd like a little flirting before mating. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you know, uh, invite me out to dinner first. <clears throat> Which of the following scenarios scares you the most? Being stuck in one fursona forever, having your fursona taken away, having to lie about your fursona, having no friends because of your fursona, hurting your loved ones because of your fursona, not being able to live out your dreams because of your fursona. I would hate to I would hate to hurt my loved ones cuz of my persona. I don't know why I would do that, but you are a hungry animal in the jungle, okay? I'm imagining. How do you find something to eat? I cook myself some food, I hunt, I ask a friend to help me. I look around to find something eatable, edible. I prepare my group to go on a hunt. I prepare my group to go on a hunt. I'm kind of a leader would you ever kill another animal uh would i ever kill another animal uh yeah if i have to sure if i gotta do it i gotta do it where would you like to live in the forest in a camp with my friends yeah which of the following is your favorite food Novel dishes you've never tried. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Juicy steaks, soup, cookies, and candies. Anything with meat. Something unusual that no one else could eat. What? This is the weirdest fucking... It's bread. The answer is bread. But it's not on here. Uh, Juicy steaks in anything with meat feels similar. Luddy, what do you think of the 50 gifted? Wow. Uh, let me go... Juicy steaks. What if, what would you do if another animal attacked you in the jungle? I would, I'd like to have magical powers. Uh, I, I, uh, I fight with all I got. Random question. Who do you think deserves to be entitled, entitled as the king of the jungle? This is made by a child. Uh, 
who do you think deserves the title of King of the Jungle? I would say it is, it's probably the, who deserves it, probably the biggest and oldest. Imagine you are a zoologist. Which of the following research topics interests you the most? Uh, finding new ways to save animals from extinction. How would you like to communicate with your animal friends? I would like to talk to them. What? Ooh, telepathy. Telepathy could be cool. Ludwig's creating a really weird vibe for my date. Talk about what persona you guys would be. Like, figure it out. I'm tele telepathing to you right now. What do you think about being someone else's pet? I don't like it. Okay, what do you think about having a pet? Sounds fun. What would you like to have? Would you like to have a persona that has a unique weapon? I am the weapon. Choose one of the following words that makes you feel good. A witch claims that you can live as your persona forever with a unique spell, but you will lose your human form. What do you say? I would say, I would say I don't want to, I don't want to leave my family alone to live in the jungle. You hear a girl screaming in the jungle. What do you do? I attack her. I, uh, I would run to help. How old is your fursona? Same age as me. So young. Choose a quote that you feel related to the most. You should try something new each day or go home. <laughs> Life is a kill or get killed game. You are either special or stupid enough to remain normal. Family's what matters, always. You should either be the strongest or be a loser. Knowledge is what makes you special. You should try something new each day or go home. And finally, how easy is it for you to trust others? Ooh, relatively easy. Your persona is a hybrid. What? More than 15% of all furry fans have a hybrid persona, so you're not alone. A hybrid alter ego is a sign that you're uh, that of your complex and colorful personality. The fuck's a hybrid? Why does he have a, a hoodie? Why is this lion got a hoodie? Don't so worry, Lud didn't forget the fursuit stream is coming right after the tuba stream. Lion plus tiger. You can be a linger, a foxy, or a droxy. Oh, I see. All right, cool. Ludwig has a wedding coming up that he was invited to next month. And everyone's going to be like, what are you doing here? Who do you know? And I'll just be in the corner. <sighs> Hoping this makes it to you before you close your P.O. box, my fiance and I have been enjoying your content for over two years. Obviously, we don't expect you to show up, but here's an invite for you to another wedding. And they're both wearing Mogul Move sweatshirts. Save the date, and it is 4-20-2024? You scheduled your wedding two years in advance? The date is 4-20-2024 at 4-20 p.m. <sighs> Say less, I'm there. By then, I've already fell off completely, and I'm just going to show up to the wedding, and everyone's no, going to be like, what are you doing here? Who do you know? And I'll just be in the corner. No, they wouldn't. They'd say, like, Ludwig, you're so sick. You ever heard of Ludlock? I want hoping this makes it me. to you before you close your... People know me for anymore. People like... I've done cooler things than that. I've done a lot of cooler... I did chess boxing, kiddo. Okay? So, hey, let me tell you, in about... Eight months, shit's gonna get fucking crazy, okay, bucko? <laughs> you know? There's gonna be people punching each other in the face and what have you. So. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. <whistles> Ooh. 
Linus soaks Ludwig. Okay, why are the comments in, in a fight? Yes, he soaked me. Yes. You guys ever cringe at finding your old comments at someone else's content? Why was Slime so cute in this? Damn, she down bad. Never mind, you right. Moonstone, that's tough. That's tough. Upvote, that's tough. But it happens. Um... I think I did this. Thanks, Lud. Me, 22-year-old male. Takes home girl, 25-year-old female. Me. What do you want to watch? Her. I don't really care. Whatever you usually watch. Me. Well, they watch a lot of YouTube. Her. Oh, same. Me. I'll put on the first video on my subs. Praying Lud isn't live. Lud is live. Internal thoughts. Maybe it's not the best for a female audience. Stream title. Reddit recap March Madness jet lag. I begrudgingly press play for two minutes. Excuse me. I begrudgingly press play. Two minutes go by. She gets bored. We make a March Madness bracket. Then my bed broke. Thank you, Lud. I genuinely think if I put on something more watchable for a 25-year-old woman, I'd still have a non-broken bed. So thanks, Lud. You owe me a bed. If anybody reads this post and thought I was the problem... I want to hit that shit. That shit you are huffing. Okay? That is grade A Jankum. No, like, hit, hit it like smoke it. Hit it like smoke it. Smoke it. I don't want to, like, have sex with you. I mean, like, hit it like smoke. Dude, okay. Here's what you do. If you have a girl or, you know, guy or whoever friend coming over and you don't know what to play, you throw on, if you want something mild in the background that you talk over, maybe like in Impractical Jokers, everybody can get behind it, okay? If you want to be a little more adventurous, okay, you run them this gambit, all right? You start with, hear me out, you start with, uh... Dude perfect. Trick shots you did not expect. Volume 2. Unexpected trick shots. Into try not to say wow challenge. All right. If you're still going crazy, you throw in a daily dose. That's a breather. Okay. Wrap it up. Throw on a 35-minute Northern Lion Bellatro run that you think is going to go somewhere, but then actually halfway through the video, he dies in the fourth ante, and then it's actually just an eight ante run on a different deck with a different difficulty that you didn't think would happen at the start of the video. And then you watch the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> yeah. And then you watch the Joe Rogan experience. And then if things are still going well on the date and it's still going on, you should go Destiny, Debate versus Ben Shapiro. And by that point, like, if you guys haven't already moved to the bedroom, I can't help you. God can't help you. You know what I mean? You've tossed. Isn't it weird to think someone has probably done it to the Ludwig Schlatt Musical Emporium? Are you fucking smoking weed? You think somebody has had sex with this song in the background? <laughs> uh, 
I mean, there's some music that'd be good. This song. All right, if you guys are on a date right now and you're watching this stream, at the crescendo of this song, you should turn over for the first kiss. How was he holding the phone camera? This is my thighs. Don't be weird. Funny. While you were gone, I added a Slack command to start and stop the live thumbnail program. Do slash thumbnail. Thumbnail. Good try. So annoying. Wait, here it is. Wait, get ready. Lean over. Lean over right now. <gasps> 9-11, your grandmother. Your grandmother, 9-11. Nah, because I look, I look, honestly, I look like a really nice school guidance counselor. Like, I really look like I would set you on the right path for your future. I look very, I do look very kind. I have kind eyes. What piece was that? That was love theme, Tchaikovsky. I'm going to be completely real. I'd actually fuck with the hair. I think it is actually fire. Guys, the hair was not an intentional difference in like how I want to, you know, do my hair. I just fucking put a helmet on. Lud doesn't understand crossword puzzles. Since Lud has started doing the mini, he's been playing in a hard mode by not knowing there are rules to crosswords. What? Not every crossword follows the rules strictly, but the New York Times one in the mini does. Rules. If the clue is plural, then the answer must be plural. Really? If the clue is past or future tense, the answer will match. If there's an abbreviation in the clue, USA, FBI, or the clue says for short, then the answer may contain an abbreviation. Other than these exceptions, abbreviations are not allowed. If the clue ends in a question mark, there's usually some kind of wordplay or pun involved. If there is a word in parentheses, it means that word in parentheses will be paired with the answer to match the clue. For example, the clue tears up. The answer was wells because wells up. Whoa! And the clue eats down could be scarfs down oh my god if the clue has a location or country in it then the clue could be in that language example summer in nice would be at a holy shit why has no one ever told me this i'm popping a shred bowl by the way i'm trying to get shred bowl trending for people who are shredded they drink shred bowls are you joking no i'm actually being like really genuine like, I kind of hand it up, but I actually didn't know any of these fucking rules existed. And this is kind of mind-blowing. All right, let's see it. New York Times crossword. I just want to fucking try this little trick of the trade, as it were. What, what, re oh my god, what riz? Oxford's 2023 uh, word of the year means. It means charisma. It means charm. It means uh, charm. It means charisma. What the fuck? Do you okay, vowel group. A E I O U. Kings, queens, and jokers. Faces. Providers of oxygen to Earth's atmosphere. Plant. Uh, bank. All good. You all good. Uh, desert flora. Uh, Tin man's wish is for a heart. So I think plant is wrong. Uh, blank all good. <clears throat> Buenos Aires. Wait, what? Buenos. Went on as a roller coaster. R what? Road. His face is wrong. Tussle as in hair. <clears throat> what? 
Providers of Earth's... Oh, it has to be pl uh, plural. <clears throat> Providers. Trees. Yeah, yeah. Trees. Okay. Ch cat, cat, caft. Dude, this is wrong. <clears throat> I think you is might be right here. Like, you all good? Buenos Aires. Kings, queens, it's blank, it's faces, it's uh, cards. What? Cact cacti. It's all good. <clears throat> Riz. Riz. Damn. This is a game changer. It has to be plural because it's providers. Sweepy Steens. There's no way anyone on the East Coast is a Ludbud, right? It's hard even in mountain time zone, especially the Paris Social Club. Game night at 2 a.m. Pog. Literally just came to the subreddit to post about this. Lud streams have been absolutely brutal for us East Coast buds. I prefer 12 p.m. to 12 a.m., even if it's the middle of the workday. East Coast Frogs are the second worst oppressed group amongst Lud Buds, behind enjoyers of Lud's Valor and gameplay. I think this has been in part because of March Madness. March Madness has not made my life easy. Uh, it has made it much worse. So I think when it's over, I'll have... because. I'll be able to do more streams. Sorry, less streams, but longer, which means I have to start earlier. But uh, but for the month of March, East Coast, you are a bit fucked. You're a bit fucked, as it were. I mean, right now, it's not that bad. It's 1030, right? I started at 930. It's not that bad. 65 plus. Dude, I know. I know. But I actually kind of like how my gray hairs are coming in. Like, you know, it's kind of cool. Like, they're coming in white, not gray. It's kind of sick. <clears throat> Ludwig has got to be trolling. Why am I trolling? I, don't, I, I still don't know what the word is. Whole stream was room temp IQ. Is that an Ephelim hoodie like the Giants? Are they real? What do you know? Let's have an Ephelim lore stream. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know about the Nephilim Giants, I'll be real. Me, 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 me. High standards. This is kind of a kind this is kind of a suggestion but also an appreciation. I think Lud holds himself to a very high standards for streams which makes him less likely to go live if he's got no plans. The member only streams have helped because he can just stream whatever game and not worry about it. But I wish he did not have to worry about planning a normal stream because I, along with many others, I'm sure would watch most things on your stream regardless. March Madness has been cool because even the hour-long streams have been entertaining. IMO, I'm not streaming, say, stream every day, by the way, just a bit more. <coughs> um, brain dead. <laughs> no, sorry, that was rude. Uh, it's actually very sweet. It should be dupe. Very sweet of you. It should be dupe. But ultimately, I think I don't. I don't want to, you know... Uh, be bad at my job. I'm not trying to coast here. You know what I mean? Like, I hold myself to a high standard because I, I would fucking... I expect a high standard. You know? Like, if you go to a fucking cafe you really like because they got a bunch of sick menu options and then you show up one day and they're like, well, dude, we're only doing drip fucking coffee and bagels. Maybe if you really like the spot, you'd be like, all right, yeah, fuck, I'll do fucking bagels and drip coffee. But if they kept doing that, then, you know, maybe you'd be less likely to go. And then new people definitely wouldn't want to hang out, you know, uh, because I think what you originally liked it for would be gone to some degree. So I want to make sure that my cafe is fucking good, dude. I think it's a good thing. I'm look, I'm not that stressed about it. It's just what I what I want to do. Ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba. There are many streamers who I think have catered their career to the best lifestyle possible. 
you know? Not to say they do, they do not work hard. They do work hard. Uh, but they have catered their stream to be, like, set for the hours that they like to work at and to do the extracurricular things that they like to do in a set amount of hours per week or month or whatever. And they're they're... And they're not, like, really keen to change that or innovate how it works. But me, I like when fucking I do something really dope and shit. And I think, you know, I think, like, like a cool-ass event or whatever. Or fucking maybe, like, just some even more fun idea, like uh, like watching, you know, a thousand autoplay videos or a bro vs. bro, I think is a better experience. And it's been harder to do. Because I don't have as much time to play it. Or, or plan it. Excuse me. Plan it. This is Yappified. I'm different. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. Pull up connections and play it like millions of Americans. Camel. Cigarette brands. Okay, no. Khaki. Things you shouldn't wear. Hamster. <laughs> Camel. All right. Hold up. Uh... Rut. Things missing an E. Blow out. Blow out. Blow out? It was a blowout. It was a sweep. It was a rout. It was a romp. Decisive victory. We got beige, tan, cheese, hamster. Things that are kind of yellowish. Beige, tan, khaki, camel. Dude, yellow, brown shades. I was fucking there. How are we leaving cheese? How are we leaving cheese out? Do the people at New York Times think the only cheese that exists is bright and yellow like cartoons? Have they never seen a brownish cheese? Have you never looked at the skin of a Manchego? Wake up, sheeple. And a hamster's not yellowish brown? Who's that little fucking hamster from that Japanese show? Toto, Toto, Totomo? All right, what do we got? Ditch, cut, skip, miss. School, things that we do with school. Fail to attend. Yes, sir. Prayer, color, hamster, cheese. A good Saturday night. Oh. Nice. Wheel. What's a prayer wheel? Uh, it's the, basically the same thing as a hamster wheel, but you pray while doing it. Not bad. 3D Suica. We will definitely play 3D Suica, just not today. 100% we are doing it, though. Da, 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 da. All right, let's do some dailies. Fuck it. We can go through our dailies. And then I got to wrap because I do have to drive tonight. Bandle. I got my mind set on you. I got my mind set on you. This is fucking, uh, dun uh, I, 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 running, running, in the we're going off the rent in the crazy train. I, 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 okay, easy. Good one, good start. All right, give me, give me my dailies, chat. We got travel. What else we got? Movie grid? Yeah, I'm really good at that. Trivia grid? I do need a good trivia grid day. Bazingle. I don't even know what that is. No, no, no. I don't fuck with Bazingle. 
Uh, travel. Oh no, I did travel. Uh, worldle, sure. Time guesser, okay. Luddle, fine. Cost total, please. All right, travel. Go from Montenegro to Spain. Montenegro to Spain. Montenegro is in that uh, sort of what is that Baltic? That sort of that clump above Greece. We're, we're certainly gonna have to go through Italy. I think that'd be the most direct country in between the two of them. Connected over here from Italy. You'd probably have to go because Albania doesn't directly connect. Croatia. Uh, that would connect. No, that connects. Does that not connect? Croatia and. What is here? It is Slovenia? Slovenia, I believe, is there, maybe? No, is it? Or is it Slovakia? It might be Slovakia. It could be Slovakia. Hmm, might be Slovakia. Nope, I think it was Slovenia. Yeah, it was Slovenia. Okay, I, I, I psyched myself out. Uh, and then if we're going up here... Uh, we can just go through France and then Switzerland. Oh, we don't even need Switzerland. Bang. All right. One fuck up. Not too bad, though. Uh, okay. Rosamond Pike. Michael Fassbender. Jamon Hunsu. Let's go to Costco. Chicken breasts, Foster Farms, boneless, skinless chicken breast, 10 pounds. 10 pounds. It's not bad. It's a lot of chicken. That's a lot of chicken. I just, I've never bought 10 pounds of chicken breasts. That's so many pounds. What would a pound be? Pound of chicken breast would be like what? Like fucking. Is this frozen? It's frozen, right? It is frozen. Okay, that 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 helps a lot. So like a pound of fresh chicken breast would be like what? Like six fucking ninety nine? Like a pound and a half? Something like that. I mean this shit ain't sixty bucks. It's frozen. I'm down to slash it. Give me twenty nine ninety nine. That might be high, actually. Uh, this might be way high. Fuck. It is Costco. Give me the Costco debuff. Twenty five ninety nine. Oh my god! <sighs> Bang! Boom! That's crazy. That was crazy. I've never binked it before. <laughs> That's expensive? Really? For 10 pounds of chicken breast? What have we gotten to as a society? That's expensive? This feeds a family for a damned week. If anything, it's ridiculously cheap, but that's because it's frozen, right? If you got it 10 pounds not frozen, it's like double the price. 10 pounds of chicken is so much chicken, man. Because this is also boneless. Yeah, two, it's two two dollars fifty nine cents or two dollars fifty or sixty cents a pound. That's crazy, man. Uh, all right, NFL. The Eagles drafted this wide receiver first round of, uh, out of Missouri in two thousand nine, where he'd total over forty seven hundred yards and thirty six touchdowns in his first five seasons before leaving to Kansas City. Uh, fuck. Kansas City wideout. Started in, started in Philly, and he was kind of nasty. I mean, wait, what is that spread? Five seasons. So he averaged about like 900 yards a season. So he was decent. He was a, you know, pretty productive wide receiver. 2009, though, that's pretty old. I don't know if I would know this. This is like the Brandon Marshall era. Man, Eagles. I don't know. I don't know the NFC that well either. I don't know. I don't think I know this. The Eagles. They had that one dude. 
that fucker who could run really quick, who returns balls like no other, but I don't think he went to Kansas City. Oh, shit. I'm not going to get there. I'm not going to get there. I'm not going to get there. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. Yeah, I was thinking of Deshaun Jackson, but I don't think it's Deshaun Jackson, right? I'll just type in Brandon Marshall. Brandon Ayuk. MLB. Six foot nine. Mark Hendrickson helped Washington State make the 1994 NCAA tournament, went to the NBA, and then was an MLB SP where he won 10 plus games with this AL East franchise in 2004 and 2005. Give me the fucking Red Sox, baby. Led by Max Obmus and Kevin O'Bonner, this 15-seed school out of Summit League upset two-seed Ohio State and seven-seed Florida to advance to the 2021 Sweet 16. Give me Connecticut. History. In the aftermath of World War II in 1946, the Hellenic Army took on the Democratic Army during the civil war of this European nation. Yugoslavia. Czechoslovakia. Civil War. Uh, I don't know. I don't fucking know, dude. I don't fucking know, man. Hungry? <laughs> that's, that's tough. That's tough. Name the two celebrities mashed up in this photo. It's that one dude that likes video games a lot in The Witcher. Clive? Not Clive. Fucking. What's his fucking name? It's, uh. He played Superman. He likes The Witcher. Or he's in The Witcher. He's a big-ass nerd. Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill. And then... I'm pretty sure that's the face of the dude who's like a really fucking good actor. But I don't know his goddamn name. But every time he's in a role, he just crushes it. He's in that one movie, Date Night, I think it's what it's called. Where he's the neighbor. And he's divorcing his wife and everybody doesn't fuck with him. But I don't remember his name. But I think it's that guy. I'll just throw in fucking John C. Riley because I don't know his name. Uh, cereal. What cereal brand has popular varieties? Multi-grain, apple, cinnamon, frosted, and very berry. Cheerios. Television. This cult favorite comedy series parodying medical dramas ran on Adult Swim from 2010 to 2016. And had a ca cast of Lake Bell, uh, Rob, Megan. Okay. A parody of medical dramas? I don't know. Adult Swim? Rick and Morty. Kelsey Grammer began playing the character of Dr. Hank McCoy, Beast, in this 2006 film, the third installment of the X-Men franchise. It's called X-Men. X-Men. First, the XXX, uh, X-Men, The Last Stand. Ooh, fuck yeah. This group featuring lead uh, vocalist Tyler Joseph had three hit songs. Uh, excuse me. This group featuring lead vocalist Tyler Joseph had three songs hit top five on the Billboard Top 100, including Heathens, Ride, and Stressed Out. Oh, I'm still, simple, I'm still stressed out. Uh, 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 the White Stripes, the Plain White Tees, the, uh, I don't know, White Stripes, sure. Who is it again? 21 Pilots. Aren't they Melee fans? Children's Hospital. Jim Gaffigan? Oh my god, it is Jim Gaffigan. Hungry. It was Greece. Oh. Oh, oh that makes sense. Is it a civil war? Uh, Oral Roberts. That's a school? Tampa Bay Rays, Jeremy Macklin. Wow, I would have never got that. World Dole. That dead ass looks like Germany. 
Fuck yeah. Uh, where are we in the world? Time guesser. Time guesser. Where are we in the world? We are in Japan. Town? I think we're in straight up Japan, man. At a celebration of St. Patrick's Day. So the month is March. It's in a very English-pilled area. I think it's definitely Japan. Is there anything that could give me a hint as to where in Japan? I mean, I guess almost assuredly we're in Tokyo, right? It would just be crazy to not be. That's a fucking Beanie Baby store? Oh, yeah, we're dating ourselves. That's a flip phone, a Beanie Baby store, and a digital camera. And this is what everyone wore in the 90s. I don't know where they went. They all disappeared, but that's what everybody used to wear. All right, give me 1997. Maybe even 96. This could have been, no, maybe maybe 98. Let's go 1990. Eh, let's go 1999. Do we think this is after the collapse of the Japanese economy? I want to think this is a pre-9-11 world. So 2000 flat. And we'll just go Tokyo. And where do they do fun, cool shit like this? Maybe with a large English-speaking community? It could be in Shinjuku. I doubt it's in Shibuya. What's that one place called? Uh, they have a very big English-speaking community. Somewhere in Japan. But I don't know if it's Irish, per se. Yoyogi. They got a fucking park there, no? Buddy, stop going away. I swear it's right next to Shinjuku. Where's Shinjuku? Shinjuku's right there. Uh, ah, fuck it. Let's just go Shinjuku. Nah, no, let's go south. Ni Shinjuku. Right here. New Shinjuku. Right here. Bang. It was 2009 in Yokohama which is the second largest city in Japan. Wow, 2009 surprises me. I was way, way, way early. The tele the baby the beanie baby store really fucked me up. That shit fucked me up. Beanie babies. A trolley is knocked over. We are not happy about this. We are not happy about the trolley getting knocked over. Is what it looks like. Tubos. Tubos Cristal. Mech, Ro, Felix. I don't know. These are these are all dressed up like some modern fucking gents. Feluqueria, Feluqueria. I don't know, man. Where are these proper fucking gents all at? I mean, look, this is like they're on a horse. I have to assume this is like a 19 fucking 12 angle. Uh, based off the language, I'm going to go Spain. So maybe just like Barcelona 1912. Ooh. <laughs> Damn. Damn. 1909 Barcelona. That's a good guess. They're not going to make me look as cool on this one because unfortunately they've given me a lot of information. State's post office, Washington University State. Is it Washington State University? Or is it Washington, D.C.? That's a good question to figure out. 
I think it's Washington, the state, though, not D.C. Where would we be, we be in Washington? Is University of Washington, right? Where is that? That's probably is that in Seattle? Where is the University of Washington? Where's U Dub? Belltown, Belltown, come on. Where the fuck is U Dub? Is it in Spokane? Seattle. I don't feel like U Dub is in Seattle. Am I crazy? University S Street. All right. I feel like, and this might be bold of me to assume, the University U Dub. Okay. U Dub. All right. So let's assume we're at U Dub. And I don't know when this is. This one I actually think might be the 90s. I'll go 93. Okay. A mounted policeman shepherding a protest against the sit lie court uh, ordinance, a proposed law which would ban sitting or lying on a public sidewalk. It was 1993 at you fucking dub. Oh my god. Damn, I'm feeling myself today. I'm feeling myself today. Restaurant? Begging Chitija. Tea room. This word is so weirdly familiar to me. I, I really think we're in fucking Finland, bro. Or maybe fish. Pesque. Pescado. Viz. Poisson. Wait, poisson is fish in French. Poisson. I think we're in Finland, man. Is this stupid? Am I throwing? I guess it could be Poland. No, I don't think it could be. Uppsala. I'm just going to go Helsinki. Just tap it in. Uh, Wait, let's see if we can see one thing that ends in TJE. TJE. Because ultimately that is like a... It could be hungry, maybe. Do we have anything that ends in a T-J-E? Because that feels like a popular, like, not suffix, you know, but ending. Or maybe just letter construction. I'm not seeing it, though. I'm more seeing, like, ends in U. It feels like everything ends in a fucking U. All right, all right. Let me ditch my Helsinki ways. Let me go to down to Hungary, go to Budapest. Do you guys got any J's? And I'm not talking about the letter. Oof. Come on. What do we got? Come on. Come on. What do we got? Come on. I'm, I mean, I'm also not seeing J's. Let's look at the street names. I think that might be more helpful. Dude, what's fucked is that this is all just in damned English. Are we in Poland? There's a J, but not how I wanted it to be. We might just be in damned Poland. Warsaw. Jays, where are you? A lot of Z's. Oh, wait, there's some, oh, there's some J action. Oh, yep. Oh, yep, the J's are ripe. Oh, yeah, Lud, Ludo Wedge. I mean, there's definitely J's to be had. Let's just throw it Warsaw. Fuck it. What year? I don't know. Uh...
tough to tell. 1998, I don't know. 2002, a quiet corner in Bruges, Brussels. That makes sense why there was French. I should have, I should have, mm. I should have honed in on the fact that there was French on that menu more. I just assumed it was a very touristy area, but that would make sense why Belgium would have such massive languages. That is smart. That is smart. Uh, son of a bitch. I think we might be in Egypt. I think it is possible. This little body of water gets a lot of money. Tenth of Ramadan. Wait, it is the tenth of Ramadan, isn't it? Oh, what a convenient city name. Uh, okay. Where I don't actually know where the pyramids are is what I'm realizing. I don't think I know. Like I know they're in Egypt, but I don't think they're like smack dab in Cairo. I guess they can't be that far from civilization though, right? In the sense like the fuckers who built it need to needed to go home, right? Get some fucking water. Little sip sip. I feel like it should be on the map. It should be like, here they are. Oh wow, it's really close. Look at that. There's the KFC. And there's the Sphinx. There is the Sphinx. It looks like we can see the Sphinx and the Pyramid of Giza in the background, which would put us maybe around like here-ish. Um, somewhere here could work, right? Yeah, that makes sense. So we're right, like, well, I'll say here. And then when is this taken? Uh, ooh, actually, that camera is a 60s camera, no? It's an old-ass camera. I don't think it's 40s. I'll give myself 50s or 60s. Black and white, I'll throw it back to the 50s. 58. 62. So not a bad guess. Location, mwah, spotty dotty. But I guess that's kind of free. Final score, 43.5K. Not a bad day. Kind of banged on that one. Kind of banged on that one. The worst one was uh, my first guess, actually. The Japan one, which I guess the year. Damn Beanie Babies fucked me up. All right, let's try it. My last video. I'll tell you what, it wasn't. Uh, June 2022. October. I'm ending uploads. You know what? That looks like this. Wait, are these real? Is this even real? July 2021, I guess? But those were the same video. Am I smoking? I gave my cat my credit card for one hour. We got coots. I want to say November 2022. Dude, why did I just click 2020? The most racist person I met. The most racist person I met. I accidentally won a poker tournament in 2019. It's Jover, bro. I fucking misclicked. Fuck. These thumbnails are funny. I do miss that Coors Banquet shirt. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's do our final one. Spell check. Let me cook. Let me cook today. Incendiary. A adjective meaning igniting combustible material spontaneously. The word see originates from Old English see on, meaning to perceive or look at. Incendiary. A adjective meaning igniting combustible. Weaponry. A noun meaning weapons. Weaponry. A noun meaning. Closed. A adjective meaning not open. Closed. A, a, L. a noun meaning any of numerous voracious, elongate, snake like, bony fishes order anguilliforms that have a smooth slimy skin, lack pelvic fins, and have the median fins confluent around the tail. The word LA from Middle English originated Eel? from the Old English Eel? L. L. 
crouched, a verb meaning to lower the body stance. Fenestrated, a adjective meaning having one or more openings or pores. Fenest Freegan, a noun meaning an activist who scavenges for free food, as in waste receptacles at stores and restaurants. Caroling, a verb meaning to sing especially in a joyful manner. Akimbo, an adjective or adverb meaning duress, a noun meaning forcible restraint. Bang. Loop, a noun meaning a small magnifier used especially by jewelers and watchmakers. Derived from Old French, the word has its roots in Latin through the Middle Ages. Bure, a noun meaning a seasoned butter sauce, as for fish, flavored with white wine, shallots, and vin Disconcerting, a verb meaning to throw into confusion. Disconcerter comes from obsolete French, modified from permanence. A noun meaning the quality or state of appendectomy. A noun meaning surgical removal of the vermiform appendix. Appendectomy originates from Latin. Okay, incendiary? Uh, I, I just overthought I had that one. I crush medium words. Loop was nice. Bure, I should have gotten because butter is beurre. I knew it was French. Bure. Fuck, that was dumb. Disconcerting. What did I fuck up here? I just missed the letter C. I had that. I literally just missed the letter C. Okay, that was annoying. Permanence. I put an A instead of an E. Okay. I, fl I flipped them. I should have gotten these two. I should have only gotten two wrong. That's annoying. I missed it. it, it the, on, honestly, that game's a little janky. This is not like cope. The game is genuinely a bit janky. Like when you type in it, it just, it's not as fluid as other games. <sighs> Fine, we'll do fucking strands, dude. Lock steps. What does that mean? Lock steps? What does that fucking mean? Crate. Crater. Creator. Creates. Creates. What is a lock step? What does that mean? Lock step. Lock steps. What the f I hate these fucking games, man. What do you mean, bro? Creator. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to be making, man. I feel like a fool out here. I feel like a damned fool. Got me here fucked up thinking I'm a damned fool. Hose. Hose. Apply? What? Lock steps. Apply. <laughs> apply. What does that mean? Apply. Lock steps. The steps to using a lock? Apply. Jobs? Lock steps. Locks? Hair? Locks of hair? Hi, Coots. Come here. Coots, I'm a little confused right now. Hair. Of course, that doesn't work. Hair. Is there haircuts? Maybe. Hi, you. Hello, cats. Hello. Hello, beautiful child of God. Rinse. What the fuck? Lock. Steps. Oh, like steps to taking care of your hair. Like rinse, apply, shower, wash. Is wash one of them then? Or is shower? Rinse dry? Is dry one of them? Is that it? Coots, I'm so lost. Towel? Condition? Maybe condition? Condition, condition, 
condi con di sho Really? That's so annoying. Shampoo. Sham. Where's shampoo? Buddy, I'm petting you. You don't have to bump into me. Shampoo. What? What? Shampoo and condition. Why is condition not coming up? Con. Con de. Why is there no condition? Why is there no condition or shampoo? God, it's got me fucked up. I hate this one. I hate. It's, I feel like I know the word now, but now I now I now is the part where I feel like a fool. Wet. Too short. Wetten. Let. Crate. Crate. Uh, dude, I don't know. I feel like I should have shampoo if this is lock steps like taking care of your hair. Shower, maybe? Shaw. 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 No. And this is the only S in here. So that's... I, I'm so mad this isn't condition. Condition. Conditious. Condish. Conditioner. Condition. Conditioner. Where's the little letter N? It's up here. Dude, I am getting cooked. I'm getting cooked. Uh, sh, 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 shit, shit, shitten, S rust. What is this? What is this? Towel. Fuck. I could have got that one. Fuck. Towel. Dry, maybe. T towel. So I, you, you apply. You rinse. You towel. You apply. You condition. You condition. You condition. Wait, dude. You condition. Okay. Uh, hose. Ho, eat. <laughs> you. Style. Right? Shh. 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 Shows. What the fuck is the Z doing here? What do I do with my hair with a Z in it? I. Exfoliate. Heat. Blow dry. Heater. Hate. Hater. Come on, man. Come on. I don't fucking need a hint, bro. R a co ca ca er er Eric. 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 No. Come on. L ah. Ah. You cl You clarer. Mirror. 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 Dude, what am I even doing here? You error. 
Air Cree. Fuck, dude. Fuck. Hair Cree. Hair. I'm sorry, kids. Hair Cree. Hair. Hair care. Okay. All right. Hair care. Moist. Moist. You moist. Z. Z. Shower. Shower. You. You. Z. Z. R. R. Dude. Fuck this game, man. You. Heat. Z. He he heat heat suit dude I what the fuck is the letter Z doing in a hair care? Alright, if I'm doing hair care, let's think for a moment. Hair care, the letter Z. Z pigs in a blanket, Z. Hair, you hair cuts, hair uh fizz, 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 fizz or like frizz. Frizz? That's one Oh my god. What is this? Lather? There's one word with the letter Z in it and all these letters. Dude, what is it? Give me a fucking hint. I don't want it. I know that's the letters. Don't. F <laughs> Why did I ask for a hint? This was stupid. What is this? Som Somas? Som so so Soizaria? Dude, what the fuck is this? Steer, steerike, steerike one. Teriz, terizium. Mezocituri. Do you guys know it? Like, you actually know it? Do you look at this mezocituri and you think, oh my god, how is he so dumb? It is so obviously fucking... Griswold. Like, what is this? You all know it, really? Moist. Moist Erzy. Moisturize. I don't like that game. I do not like that game. Not even a little bit. All right, chat. Here's the thing. It's bench time. And by bench time, I mean time to end the stream. Melvin the Goat, Peyton, thank you for the memberships. Chat, thank you very much for hanging out today. Thank you for all the members. This went way longer than I need, uh, actually should have let it go, but I was having a good time. So we streamed an hour 45 when I meant to stream actually 45. Uh, so anyway, thank you very much for watching today. I will be back tomorrow for probably a vertical stream again. Just a heads up, it'll probably be a vertical stream. Um, but that's it for me. I appreciate you all. Good night, everybody. See you later. I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye. See you later now. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good one. Goodbye, everyone.
Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. See you later, everyone. Goodbye, goodbye. See you later, everyone.